feeling he is going to want these. <laughs> Look good? Mm -hmm. Taste good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just am the deliverer of pancakes for this guy. Why is my thing not? There we go. As he is finishing up, well, let me just flip this around and show you. So, I am in the sheep paddock. We built this for our original two. Um, and now we're putting three sides on it. Wait, three or is there gonna be a part in the front that's also covered? Just three. Okay, so three sides on it. The pregnant mamas, I think, should be here, I think within a week. Honey, it's just rain. <laughs> okay, so walk me through what you did, babe. In between pancake bites. I I wish I could walk you through this, but I don't know everything that he did. How long has this taken? Like approximately. How long do you think? How many hours? Yeah. I'm asking Jason to walk us through how he's done this because I think it's pretty amazing. The thing with Jason, even when we lived at our other house, he built this um, unbelievable shed and the plans are in his head. That's how good he is. But then to get them out sometimes is challenging. But I think that's what makes him so good, right? <laughs> He's loving. Okay, so my, there we go. My parents are actually here right now. And if you see me walking weird, it's because I tweaked my back the other day. And I'm headed to the chiropractor tomorrow. I'm really, really hoping he can help like with one shot, but I don't know. I was lifting something up that I probably shouldn't be lifting and I heard a pop. And I have been, I, <laughs> Jason says I definitely shouldn't have done it. I've been slightly out of commission since then. So I'm the deliverer of lots of things and now I'm reading and studying and watching all things garden to gain inspiration for what is all to come, which only makes me just long for spring. But before that can happen, we are finishing this up for, like I said, our two pregnant mamas that are coming. Um, and these will hopefully be our breeding mamas now. That's the goal, that's what we're hoping for. And then I'm hoping as well, so they will be due in May, and then I'm hoping in May, well, I don't know if this part's gonna happen yet, but actually two more might be coming, we'll see. That all has to be worked out yet, but it's because it's gonna be a totally different kind, um, not so much for meat, but for other things, so we'll just see. And that is why I want Jason to show you what he has done here. You gonna walk me through it? No? He's gonna walk us through it, hold on. All right, three-sided. <laughs> Sheep shack. <laughs> Can we call it the sheep shack? The sheep lean to. The sheep what? Well, it's not a barn. Windbreak. Windbreak, yeah. The sheep windbreak. The funny part is we're not even sure if the sheep will be staying up here long term, but we think we'll always have something up here. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll probably be, build, be building another one of these in the back, which I will show you another time because we are kind of changing some things around. So basically, Jason just came out here, framed this out with mostly wood that we have except had for, well, I guess it's not. So these posts were given to us. Everything else, are they just two by fours? Just two by fours, and now he's siding it with just metal. Just metal, metal what? Siding. Metal siding. Mm -hmm. Because this is up on a hill slightly, and we need them to have a windbreak, especially in the winter. Well, even in the summer sometimes, just to have a a place where that, that they can go. So that's what this is. <laughs> oh goodness.
tulips and stuff. What are you up to? Nothing? He's coming out to check it all out? Yeah? What's everybody doing inside? Good. Good? <laughs> He's trimming out the edge or the corner. Okay, and so I mean, what are you going to do on the top? Just get a piece of channel or a piece of um, trim that goes up underneath here. For so the, the water. water runs off the top. Yeah. And no. Welcome back to Haven Hill. I hope, oh, I'm watching our duck right now. We have a duck I think I shared, I think I shared in another video, maybe it was on YouTube. We have a duck that's going lame. So we're trying to help him, but it's really hard to watch. Not sure we can help him all the way this time. Anyway, hi Meg. And um, this is Haven Hill. I am delivering Jason pancakes. My parents are here in town to celebrate Christmas with us, which is absolutely lovely. My sister and her kids and husband were here last week, and we just got done making my parents famous, they are truly our famous, um, pancakes that they make in their restaurant. We just got done making them inside. They were so good, so that's why I had to deliver them to Jason. The rain is coming. The sheep, let's see if I can find it right up there. The sheep's area is ready for them other than um, the siding that he has to put on. The sheep hopefully will be coming next week, I think. Yeah, it's winter. Winter is full of projects. Winter is full of resting and learning, and that's what we're doing. So as Jason is finishing up that, the other day um, we went out on a date, which was lovely, and we were grabbing things for the garden. We were grabbing things for animals and whatnot. And I picked up, that's really loud. I picked up, they were 75% off, but I picked up more tulip bulbs. So I'm gonna spend just a few minutes and get those in. I already planted a lot um, this fall. I transplanted some from pots that I had. And so now I'm gonna grab, I think I have four, eight, 12, like 16 or 20 more that I'm just gonna go ahead and pop in. So here we go. Okay, I lied. I just counted. I have 32. 8, 16, 24, 32. <laughs> I have 32 bulbs. So, I said I tweaked my back. Actually, I don't know where that's going to be in this video where I said that. So, this is repetitive. I tweaked my back the other day. I was trying to lift this wooden bench, which I've done before. And I guess I picked it up wrong and I heard a pop. So, I'm trying to be super careful. However, if I just sit down or lay down, it hurts even more. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. If I'm moving, as long as I'm careful, it actually feels a lot better. I know I just pinched something. I've done it before. So anyway, my dad's gonna come out and help me and we're gonna plant these tulip bulbs. And um, I have to go grab my shovel. And yeah, it should be wonderful. I'm so excited. Every year I try to add tulip bulbs. Um, I need to, I was hoping to add more bearded irises. I haven't been able to do that yet. So come along with us. We're going to go put these ones in. These are just double early. Actually, I can't read the, the, um, the card on the package. Just a minute and I will let you know what they are. Just a second. These are it, the it ones that we're doing. Just a slate for, if I'm running into frost. <laughs> I think you're right. We think we just ran into, oh yeah, a nice big rock. Okay, this is my dad. My dad's helping me plant all the tulips. <laughs> oh boy. Say hi, dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm working off breakfast, Meg. <laughs> I just told everybody that we are, uh, we just had your famous pancakes. Oh, they are good, aren't they? They are so good. You don't even have to be hungry and eat no, them. No, you don't. You yeah. don't. They just melt in your mouth. They're so delicious.
Okay, so we are planting the Foxy Foxtrot tulips. And um, if you've never done them, oh, let me get this in focus here. The point goes up. So I had to plant them pretty close together. I don't know, just a couple inches apart. I like mine close. And now my dad is just covering them with probably about, I don't know, four or five inches of yep. soil, would you say? Yeah. Yep. And so now those are ready to go. You sometimes, um, this December, oh, I think I might have, well, no, that might be, might be okay. I did have one rotten one. I got these, like I said, 75% off. So I'm just was excited to get more in. I would love to have a ton of them someday. But, you know, a little at a time, you just keep adding. And normally these would have been, like if you bought them earlier in the season, um, normally these would have been, I think they were like $8 a bag. And I got them for, let's see, I think that would have been $2 a bag. So that's a good time. Garden Zone 5B, as long, as long as your ground is not frozen, it's not too late. If your ground is frozen, it's too late. Uh, all right, we have one bag left, so we're gonna pop some just up by the front of our house. And Riggs is helping us. Right, Betty? Yep. Oh, I need to open this bag. Last Christmas, my parents brought tulips as part of my birthday present, and we planted a bunch of them. So this year I snagged some more, and now we're putting more in. Oh, oh. All of the sweet mama's babies just left her and she doesn't know what to do. Girl. Okay, same day, much later in the afternoon. We just got back from a coffee shop with my parents and visiting our oldest in her apartment. She is actually, I think I've shared this in the space before, she's an EMT, so she is actually on call right now. Um, and anyway, so we were just visiting with her. Um, but we're gonna go check on the progress of, oh, it looks so good. Okay, we're gonna go check on the progress, I can see it, you can't yet, of the sheep shed. And my little buddy, he's coming with me. You coming? Yeah, yeah okay. So here we go, let's go check it out. I'm so excited for the sheep to arrive. Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you. It's been, I'm just counting down the days. <laughs> Are your boots too big? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Jason and Riggins just got back from, I don't know, Home Depot or Menards. They got have their corner pieces. He had to grab a little bit more material. And it's looking like he's about done. So let me show you. So here it is. Look at it. It looks so good. Nice and cozy for them. How you feeling about those edge pieces, babe? Chintzy. Chintzy? <laughs> Will it work? This stuff is like paper. I didn't know Well, yeah, this kid. But... Are you going to help Dad? <laughs> What's up, dude? Begins report back to me. Tell me what you and Dad did. We went to an ours and Home Depot. You got all the parts that you yep. needed? We got that. The trim? Yep, and more uh, metal sheet. Metal sheeting? And then that bent. What do you think truck. of this thing? It's cool. Cool, yeah. Please. I'm underneath that. And I'm like, hey, Dad, this is what I need to carve. He's like, let me see. And he's like, okay, good, fine. I'm fine, though. So, <laughs> Metal, those are the glasses. Nice. Pass it just a spoke. Yeah, you can pass it just a hair. That way it'll kind of. Go take the last corner piece over here. 
okay? Did you get your stick stuck? I don't think you can do that again if you try, little man. <laughs> Watch out. Boop, boop. All right, it's, it's not freezing. But it's damp, that damp wet. So I told him, I said, okay, I'm good. I, I'm gonna head in now. Between that and my back, oh my goodness. But is that not exciting? It's just something about seeing your man in a tool belt, kinda like it, <laughs> not gonna lie. Anyway, okay, so that's the update with the sheep shed, shelter, shack thing, whatever you wanna call it. Um, the rest of our tulips are in and now, we just await the arrival of the sheep. So if you're new in this space, the sheep um, that we are getting are katahdins. We're doing, we've switched from what we had before, which actually the farmer wasn't even sure exactly what they were. We're doing katahdin. So we don't have to worry about shearing. We're just gonna try it, see what we think. So it's a hair sheep. Um, and then we will, these two ewes that are coming to us are pregnant and they are due in May. Praying all of that goes really, really well. And yeah, so that's what the whole front area paddock is for. It's for them. And then actually, let me just quick show you where we will probably be. We're gonna leave this up here for any other animal if we decide to keep a ram. Right now I don't want a ram, but if we decide to keep one, then we might keep that area for them when they need to be separated. And let me show you. Hey, little hen, you free ranging today, like hardcore. Okay, so here's the back portion of our land. You can kind of see there's a tree line, just this, the very first line of trees. And we're going to probably, there is some fencing there. Um, we're going to probably take about an acre and a half or two, fence it, and then this is where we will eventually move the sheep. Like I said, thinking summer. It could be May, but probably not till um, summer. This is just our, our bonfire area that we have out back. So, kind of, let me see. Starting like with a grouping of those trees all the way down here, then that goes to our trail. So stopping it there, everything that direction. This, we aren't gonna fence, at least not right now. So if you're also new in this space, if you don't know this yet, this all used to be run by horses. The land was not in good shape at all. Our whole goal, goal two years ago, our very first spring here was just to get grass to grow. We've done that. And now we're taking it and trying to just restore it and make it better. So this was completely run by horses. And now we're going to fence off what we need to and um, bring the sheep in. And the other goal is that they will be halter trained. Um, a couple of my kids have expressed interest in 4-H possibly showing them. I'm not sure if we'll go down that road or not, but I figure if they're halter trained, then at least it's going to be easier to move them. That was a mistake that we made the first time. We did not halter train our sheep. It was really hard to move them as they got older because they just loved their freedom. So that is going to be a mission that we have to do that. And then we can also set up fencing in all of our wooded area as well that really needs to be cleared. Um, maybe with pigs, but at least starting with the sheep. You definitely though could not excuse this if you can see the back brace. Goodness gracious, I feel like I'm getting old. We could not, so all of that wooded area, you could not leave them in there unless you had electrified fencing. And the reason why is we definitely have coyotes back there. So, hello. We do want to, you are pregnant again, aren't you? Her tummy feels big. <laughs> oh my goodness, you sweet mama. Um, but we at least want to be able to take him back there, you know, for an afternoon or an entire day and then move them back up. Um, We've never seen coyotes on our property, which is surprises me, but you definitely hear them, especially certain times of the year. So, just options. 
options. That's what we're looking for as we continue to restore and make this place truly its namesake, a haven, looking for options of where to raise animals, how to expand gardens, where to hold workshops and different things. And that's what we're doing. Right, Skittles? Right. <laughs> Our chickens are loving this weather today because they can roam much easier when it's not totally freezing out. I'm thinking we're gonna have to make a hard decision about our one duck though. He just cannot, he can't get better no matter what we do. Oh goodness, when you get attached to animals, those are really, really hard decisions to make, but I don't wanna see him suffer. Anyway, okay, that's all the updates that I have today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you also for all of your sweet messages over Christmas, um, throughout the new year. And we are really, really excited for all that this year holds. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. January does that for me. Makes me just dream and reset a bit. Don't really set resolutions, but um, yeah, I'm just excited for this year. So anyway, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe. Be on this journey with us. So many of you have started really commenting. We love that. We love learning from you. Thank you for your kind comments, your encouragement, your ideas. Please keep doing it. Feel free to share any of our videos. And yeah, until next time, enjoy your day. We'll talk to you later. Hey, pretty mama. It's the entourage coming out. Look at all of them. What do you think, Skittles?